One of the most important parts of a movie is the location, the place where the story takes place. But sometimes the location isn't just something pretty to look at, but a very influential part of the film's plot. One of those locations that has become commonly used in Hollywood is the high-rise building. But which high-rise movies tower over all the others? That's exactly the question we're going to answer here today. Skyscrapers, superstructures, towers, whatever you want to call them, they've been a part of movies since the early 1900s. They can also be used as a plot device to isolate the characters from the outside world or put them in much greater danger than if they were just standing on the ground. There are a lot of movies from several different genres that take place dozens of stories above the ground, but if I had to pick my favorites, this is how I would rank them. Starting off at number 5, 1974's The Towering Inferno. I know, this one goes just a few years back, but there's no denying the grand scale and ambitious efforts put behind making this movie. Paul Newman and Steve McQueen co-star in this disaster movie that many consider to be the best of all the disaster films from the 1970s. During the opening ceremony of San Francisco's brand new 138-story tower, a fire breaks out on the 80th floor, trapping hundreds of city leaders and social elites above it. And only the building's architect and a fire chief have what it takes to save them. Now I'll admit a lot of the special effects in this movie don't hold up so great, but one thing you have to remember that this was all done without the use of CGI. So when you see a man on fire in this movie, that is really a stuntman burning. This is definitely a movie that everyone should see at least once, but with a running time of almost three hours, it's something you really have to commit to. And coming in at number four, The Raid Redemption. This Indonesian film is considered by some fans to be one of the greatest martial arts movies in the last decade. Set in the modern day slums of Jakarta, an elite SWAT team tries to infiltrate a high rise building overrun by a ruthless drug lord and his army of thugs. One thing that's cool about this movie is that each floor of the building is used almost like levels in a video game. The higher up the heroes get, the more difficult the opposition is leading all the way up to the top floor, the big boss's domain. Not only is this movie packed full of elaborately choreographed fight sequences, the cinematography is magnificent. There are so many unique shots and camera movements in this movie, it's just about as visually stimulating as a movie can get. Just a heads up, this movie is in Indonesian, so if you don't want to watch the dub version, you'll be reading subtitles. But you know, that's not too big of a deal because most of the characters in this movie let their fists and their feet do most of the talking. Coming in at number three, Attack the Block. Where the last two movies used fire or bad guys as the main threat, in this 2011 film, Aliens Invade the High Rise. Set in South London, a group of troublemaking teens find themselves fighting off these big alien gorilla wolf looking creatures with glowing teeth that fall from the sky. The group hunkers down in the apartment complex they call home, complete with long dark hallways and unruly tenants. And these kids find out real quickly that street cred doesn't really matter to these intergalactic invaders. But with the help of a few neighbors and some fireworks, this group of friends shows these deadly dust bunnies who really rules the block. I love this movie. It's got a modern day Goonies vibe if they grew up in a much tougher neighborhood. It's an all around fun movie to watch and suspenseful enough to keep you on the edge of your seat. That brings us to my second favorite tower movie, Dread. This 2012 remake of Sylvester Stallone's Judge Dredd stars Carl Urban and takes a less wacky and more brutal approach to the popular comic book character. Now in a lot of ways the plot of Dredd is very similar to the Raid Redemption. Judge Dredd faces an evil drug lord in control of a massive residential block that houses over 200 floors worth of people. When Dredd and his trainees show up to investigate a murder, they become the hunted when the crime lord orders all the residents to kill the judges. But instead of hiding in the elaborate maze of hallways, Judge Dredd takes them all on guns blazing. Now besides being ultra violent, this movie is so gorgeous. It was originally shot in 3D, so the cinematography lends itself well to that format. Slow motion is beautifully utilized to replicate the effect of hallucinogenic drugs used in the movie. Those scenes are so visually stunning and make action play out in a way we've never seen before. You guys, Dread is such an awesome film. If you somehow missed this one, I highly recommend that you check it out. And now, my number one favorite movie set in a high-rise building is... Die Hard. Now I'm sure this one is at the top of most of your lists, and it should be for very good reason. Die Hard is one of the most iconic action films that come out of the 1980s. NYPD cop John McClane is forced to take on a group of highly sophisticated and heavily armed terrorists that have taken his wife and her co-workers hostage in the iconic Nakatomi Tower building. While Schwarzenegger and Stallone were crawling through the jungle taking out bad guys in the 80s, Willis helped popularize this more urban style of action movie. 
I remember watching this movie as a kid and loving the fact that McLean was climbing around on the roof of the building through elevator shafts and air ducts. It was so cool, I wanted to do that. This movie really utilizes just about every nook and cranny of Nakatomi Tower. Die Hard also happens to be one of my all-time favorite action movies and is a film I can watch over and over again. In fact, it's become an annual tradition of mine that the Christmas season doesn't officially start until Hans Gruber drops. Well, that's it. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree with my list? I'd love to see what your favorite high-rise building movies are, so go ahead and drop your rankings in the comments below and let's discuss. And if you want to see me do more content like this on my channel, or if you have any other ideas, please let me know down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at the movies.